The Yankees played their third inter-squad game of summer camp today as they continue to prepare for the 2020 MLB season. Davey Garcia got the ball for the Yankees. They have big expectations for this kid, as he's one of their top prospects. Jordan Montgomery got the start for the Bombers. His 2019 season was shortened due to injuries, but he's expected to be in the rotation this season for the Yankees. Here's the lineup for this game. Let's get right into the action, right after a quick word from Sports Cases. Mike Talkman sliced the line drive down the left field line on the second pitch of the game, but Brett Gardner was able to run it down for the first out. Miguel Andujar rolled out to the left side for the second out of the inning, and Gary Sanchez struck out swinging to end an impressive 1-2-3 inning for Davey Garcia. Aaron Hicks popped up to second base for the first out of the bottom of the first. Aaron Judge struck out on a breaking ball down, and Gary Sanchez made the put out at first base. Glaber Torres drew a two-out walk off of Jordan Montgomery to put a runner on base for Stanton. Stanton lofted a high fly ball to inexperienced right fielder Miguel Andujar. The ball was lost in the sun, and Andujar couldn't make the play. Torres came all the way around to first to score on the E9, and the Yankees took an early 1-0 lead. Brett Gardner struck out to end the inning as he stranded Stanton on first. The Yankees were able to score an unearned run, though, and they took a 1-0 lead. Mike Ford grounded out to the right side against new pitcher Zach Britton for the first out of the top of the second. Clint Frazier walked, but didn't run the bases as he's dealing with plantar fasciitis on his feet, which is the same injury former Yankee Greg Bird previously had. Chris Iannetta flied out to judge for the second out of the inning, and Tyler Wade struck out to end a solid inning of work for Britton. Luke Voigt drew a walk to open up the bottom of the second inning against Jordan Montgomery. Gio Urshela flied out to fairly deep right center field for the first out of the inning. Kyle Higashioka also flew out to center fielder Zach Granite for the second out of the second. Aaron Hicks rolled out to third on a 3-2 pitch to end the bottom of the second inning. Matt Duffy struck out looking against new pitcher Adam Adovino for the first out of the top of the third. Tyro Estrada rolled out to Urshela for the second out of the inning. With two away, Zach Granite reached on an error by shortstop Tyler Wade. Talkman swung at the first pitch and grounded out to shortstop for the final out of the inning. Aaron Judge popped out to first baseman Mike Ford in foul territory for the first out of the bottom of the third. Kyle Holder rolled a one-out single up the middle against Jordan Montgomery. Glaber Torres struck out, and Stanton hit a hard line drive right at left fielder Mike Talkman to end the inning which would be the final pitch of the day for Montgomery, who gave up one unearned run over three solid innings of work. Miguel Andujar grounded out the second against new pitcher Tommy Canely for the first out of the top of the fourth. Gary Sanchez struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. Mike Ford flied out to left fielder Brett Gardner for the third out of a 1-2-3 inning for Canely. Gardner drilled one to deep right center field against new pitcher Chad Green, but Zach Granite ran it down for the first out. Luke Voigt skied a fly ball down the right field line that stayed in play, but right fielder Miguel Andujar could not make the play. Voigt couldn't take advantage of his second chance at the plate, though, as he struck out swinging against Green. With two away, Gio Urshela ripped a two-out single to right center field to keep the inning going. Kyle Higashioka popped one up behind the plate, but Gary Sanchez could not make the catch as he seemed to have some miscommunication with Ford on the play. Higashioka worked the count to 3-2, and two, but Green caught him looking to end the bottom of the fourth inning. Clint Frazier dropped a leadoff single in front of Hicks to start off the top of the fifth inning against new pitcher Dan Otero. Iannetta grounded out to third for the first out as pinch runner Estevan Florio moved up to second base on the play. Tyler Wade grounded out to Urshela at short, and Florio moved up to third. The Bombers needed a two-out hit to tie up the game, and they got just that from Matt Duffy. Duffy ripped a two-out RBI single to left field to score Florio and tie the game at one. Talkman followed that up with a ground out to the right side to end the inning, but through four and a half innings of play, the Bombers and the Yankees were even at one. Eric Kratz flied out to Talkman in left against new pitcher Jonathan Holder for the first out of the bottom of the fifth. In a battle of the holders, 
Jonathan Holder struck out Kyle Holder for the second out of the inning. Hicks popped up to third baseman Matt Duffy to end a 1-2-3 bottom of the fifth for Holder. Tyro Estrada led off the top of the sixth off new pitcher Tyler Lyons, and he drilled his second home run of inner squad play into the seats and left to give the Bombers a 2-1 sixth inning lead. Zach Granite lined a single to a fielder less left field as we transitioned to wiffle ball rules in the sixth. Miguel Andujar flied out to where the center fielder would have been for the first out of the inning. Gary Sanchez lined one as well to where the center fielder would have been, and that was the second out of the inning. Mike Ford struck out looking to end the top of the sixth, but the Bombers now led the game by a score of 2-1. to one. Aaron Judge drew a walk to begin the bottom of the sixth off new pitcher Luis Avalon. Glaber Torres lined a single to right to put two ghost runners on with nobody out. Giancarlo Stanton struck out looking for the first out of the bottom of the sixth. Brett Gardner worked a walk to load the bases with ghost runners with only one out in the bottom of the sixth. Luke Voigt ripped a single to left field to walk it off and win the ball game for the Yankees 3-2 as both ghost runners came around to score on the play. Disclaimer, with no fielders and base running, I got to decide what would have happened in the final inning. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. The Yankees are off tomorrow, so it gives you all an opportunity to go back and watch some of my other breakdowns from summer camp. Thanks for watching, everybody, and let's go Yankees!